Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You And I'm back with another video Today's video, I want to talk about Latasha Scott And the whole drama And her album sales Um, Latasha Scott, she really Adored Whitney Houston and I found some pictures Of her and Whitney Houston At Whitney Houston's party, she always speaks highly of Whitney Houston So I want to talk about um, Latasha Scott in this video So y'all know lately Latasha Scott has been headlining All the news um, with the, her and her sister Fiasco with Escape, um, her going solo, her gospel album is out in her marriage. So it's a lot going on for Latasha Scott. This is the most Latasha Scott has ever been talked about. So she is really getting her shine time. But is, is it a positive shine time or negative shine time? Well, this day and age, um, it's good just to have people talking, but you have to monetize from that and you have to, um, gain cap, in my opinion, gain capital and know the angle you're trying to, uh, achieve. Now, Latasha Scott, um, has been stereotyped from the past, her being a, um, a mean, um, fat girl. And to some to some people's opinion um, I always liked Latasha Scott I always thought she was a beautiful woman I always thought she could sing And um, you know the whole escape drama With her going solo And um, Candy just never Bonded with her And felt like she was a bully Towards um, Candy um, You know she got a, She caught a lot of backlash And um, you know God always make it right and you know escape got a second chance of reuniting and making you know money some good money and just you know just um pet healing their sisterhood and once again she proves candy right about her you know getting put on and then all of a sudden she want to go solo which I have no problem of her being solo but all these years you had a chance to go solo why didn't you go solo you know your first solo project you said got shelved now all is forgiven and you know Latasha you know in escape is re reunited her and Candy has been the majority of their drama and you know now is this a uh, reality show which is wonderful I love the escape and um SWV reality show was on Bravo. It was phenomenal. Um, so, you know, I could get it in the business aspects with, you know, the any all drama is good drama. You know, you monetize drama is you're gonna be, you know, it's phenomenal, but it's not good for somebody that wants to be a gospel artist. And I'm gonna tell you where Latasha went wrong. Okay. Now you're on this big time television show You're a reality star She is a reality star now And her folk My thing is Are you going to be a reality star Or you want to be a, a solo star Especially a gospel star And people don't understand Gospel music is the hardest Genre of music To become accomplished in You know Kirk Frank, you know, you got people, iconic people like Kirk Franklin, Yolanda Adams, BB and CC Winans, um, Donnie McClurkin, Tasha Cobb, um, Leandria. You got so many of those people. They're very unique and they it was a lot of hard work. Even um Murray Murray, Erica Campbell. It it took a lot for them to um not to say it took a lot, lot, but they had to make sacrifices. They had to make sure their image was polished. And my thing is, Latasha did not do her homework. I felt this. I feel as though she thinks, she, you know, she can sing. She can sing, and she feels as though, uh, well, I come from the church. I got this great voice. I'm known, and I'm going. You know, I'm going to go solo, and but I'm going to do it in gospel. So I know they're going to buy my music. And people, you don't understand that is a very Hard arena to to be succeed in. Ex Coco from SWV, y'all. I don't know y'all remember Coco went solo and Coco can sing, and her gospel career went nowhere. Now, like I said, it was a mastermind with this reality TV show, but it was not a mastermind for Latosh. I don't know her and her husband. I know her husband manages her. That was just a bad move for doing. A, a gospel album, in my opinion, especially with all this negative drama, 
And um, like I said, if you was she was doing another like a uh, jazz album or an uh, um, R and B album or something like that, maybe. But when, like I said, the gospel world, even though pe gospel artists go through their dramas too, but they know they keep it from the public. Now, the reality show, you are seeming very manipulative. You seem very sneaky. Um, like I said, whether this is playing out for the television or this is your real reality, it's just not a good look. It's just not a good look for you, Latasha. And um, a lot of people compare you to Kelly Price. Saying, you know, Kelly Price, once R&B Divas was done, like, a lot of people didn't want to, you know, work with Kelly Price because of her behavior on the show. And I, I love Kelly Price, but I'm saying a lot of people have not forgiven Kelly Price actions off of R&B Divas. And the, I believe that you're going to you're gonna really catch slack, especially trying to be a solo artist, especially the way you're doing the same things you did, Candy said you did back in the day. you proven Candy right all over again so that that's that's a strike number one strike number two why gospel music my thing is yes you come from the church but that is not your main that is not your in my opinion that is not your go-to latasha to me is a great r&b singer great r&b great r&b singer now back to dotting your eyes and crossing your T's. Image, you cannot in the gospel. In, like I said, the industry, that audience is very judgmental. We all know the gospel world is very judgmental. You cannot be in on stage Monday night with lingerie on singing "You're My Little Secret," and then Sunday morning with a gown to your feet singing "Thank You Jesus, God Is Real." You can't do both. You can't do both, baby. If you was going to be a, a solo artist, I might have been on the reality show, but I would have made sure that it was tasteful of me saying I'm going solo and I wouldn't have no parts of escape. None. None. They, I, it, wouldn't have, it would have been so long for me performing with them. And, you know, they just saw you with blonde hair and lingerie and now you in church the next day. Like, that's, that's weird. And a lot of people feel like that's going, you know, they're going to say that's hypocritical. A lot of people, like I said, is very judgmental in that sector of music. Another thing, you signed with Motown Records, gospel de department, which that's a no-go. Motown hasn't been good, in my opinion, since Michael Jackson days and Diana Ross days. Motown is a very, they, to me, they dropped the ball a long time ago. So you have a bad, in my opinion, a bad uh, record company. Um, your music videos for your songs. The songs is okay off the album. Um, my favorite one is Love Yourself. I love that song, Natasha. That should be your anthem for your album. You need a very nice music video. You, re you need a, ni a really nice music video. Maybe a, a girl, maybe telling your story. You being a dark skinned, um, thick girl back then, and how people bullied you or made you feel, but you still telling yourself, love yourself. That would be a good um, image for that music video. Um, it's you when people don't understand, sometimes you have to go old school in marketing. Every back then, when people have albums, you should have this really should have been just an EP. Um, when people make albums, you have to have a concept. A lot of people just don't want, they just sing anything. They just get up on the mic and just sing anything and see if it's become a hit. Not have a concept. What am I really trying to say? What is the, I can't do a, a reggae one song. The next song is, a you know, a down gospel song. The next song is pop and you are over the place. And that can get you in trouble if, you, you, if you're not cohesive in the album. Especially this is your first solo al album by yourself. And then as a gospel artist, you know what I'm saying? So you have to, I don't understand when you're in the studio, listen to those songs. Like this don't sound like some of these songs, a lot of your songs on your album is dated. This album, gospel album would have probably been a banger in 2003 or 2004. But a lot, like I said, a lot of these songs are dated. The newest song is just, what is the concept of this album? And, um, 
like that first music video, you're in the backyard, look like with a wedding gown on, and all these people, you know, singing with you. That's too much going on. And where's the concept? Now, the second music video I like with you with the green dress that was beautiful, you in the bathtub that was sickening, but the song could have been a little more better. And I didn't like the part you had that um baseball cap on. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that. So you got to be more co cohesive with your concept of your album and the music. The music has to be, even if I'm not telling you to stay up with the beats and things like that, but make sure your music is timeless. You understand what I'm saying? You got people like uh, CC Winans in the business. Always, always have great songs. You got people like, um, uh, Yolanda Adams, Erica Campbell. You know, Erica Campbell, she stay up to date with her beats, but she has a cohesive concept. You don't want to, um, another thing with your image, you don't want to be like a Camberrell, um, Natasha, because they will throw you in that Camberrell box quick. No, you did not come for a group of, um, people and community, but you have nasty actions. A lot of people now are holding people accountable for their nasty actions and their passive aggressiveness. And a lot of people put that on you. You don't want to be like Kimberrow and you don't want to be like um, uh, Tina Campbell. You, with her, you remember the reality show and they show with her husband and you don't, you know, you got this scandal with your husband. You don't want people to be know your business, especially you trying to have this polished gospel artist um, image. And you, you're married to someone like Rocky. And I'm no shade to Rocky. But even if you are married to Rocky, nobody should know about that. We don't know if CC One is married to a Rocky or the Lord of Ed is married to a Rocky. Because they know that if they, they're smart enough to not have that out there like that. Um, but overall, I think the album did poorly because of um, her image-wise on the television show. Her going solo the way she did. Um, this drama with her sister. Um, and just a date, dated songs. That's that's the only reason um, I could feel as though the hot album did poorly with sales. And I love you, Latasha, but you still sing like you're in the '90s. You have an excellent voice, and that's why people can go to um, an escape show because you sing just like you was back. You sound just like you sound back in the '90s. Excellent, but it's dated. And when you're trying to make new music, you got all these other, you know. Singing techniques and methods And I understand you can stay, stick to the original But when I hear your voice Your voice is very dated When you sing songs No shade, I love you And you can sing But you have to learn how to sing In different techniques And update yourself But like I said, Love Yourself is my favorite song Off the album If y'all didn't download it, go listen to it It's a really good, feel good song I really love that song And I, if you did gospel, um, Latasha, I really wish you would have did like a some type of neo soul with gospel because that love yourself is sickening. Um, you should and I, even and even if you don't stick with gospel, you should do some neo soul. I feel as though you should do like how India Irie did for her um second album. I really believe you could do some good stuff like that. But anyway, your girl Lola loves you. Tell me what y'all think about why you think Latasha um. Sales ain't doing good for our album. How do you feel about the whole situation? And I'll be back with another video. Bye, honey, bunnies.